Well, here's a label for oral use reconstituted medication. These EES granules, they come little granules, you mix water with them. Okay, notice, hey, right there, big and bold, it tells you right there on the front of the label how strong it's gonna be after it's mixed up. It says 200 milligrams per five mils when reconstituted. Of course, it comes in a bunch of little granules. You must mix the water or the diluent to it first. Well, let's read here. It says right there, you add 154 milliliters of water and shake vigorously. Now, here's something. Realize this is not something weird. It says this makes 200 milliliters of suspension. <gasps> a miracle has happened. No. How can you add 154 milliliters of water to a bottle and end up with 200 milliliters? Well, the granules take up some space. And so they take up, what, 46 milliliters of volume. So let me stress again, not every number you're given will be important in doing the dosage calculation problem. You need to know how much diluent to add to the bottle. That's it right there. Uh, knowing how much is in the bottle, nah, probably doesn't matter. But these numbers are not going to be in your dosage calculation. Let's now look at one. I already have it worked out for you. The order, 0 0.6 grams. Well, your dosage calculation. Now, of course, I've already done it, but let's see what I did. 0 0.6 grams over 1 times, there's the dosage strength. 200 milligrams per 5 milliliters. Of course, there's grams. There's milligrams. I must confer, convert the grams into milligrams. So move that three places over. That becomes 600 milligrams. I'm going fast, but you should already know how to do this at this point. Now at 600 milligrams, there's 200 milligrams. Milligrams cancel out. So at 600 times five divided by 200, and the answer is 15 milliliters. So you give 15 milliliters of this stuff to your little patient and the patient will get 0 0.6 grams of that stuff. But what did you get from the label? You learned how much diluent you have to add to mix it up properly. You're told how strong it is, what the dosage strength is after you mix it up. And that's enough information to know how to do your dosage calculations. And it tells on there somewhere how long it lasts but, well, sometimes it shows in another place. This label may not show it, but that's how you do these.